Nico Hülkenberg has signed with Sauber, who in 2026 will become Audi. But the question is, is he an overrated driver or an underrated driver? In 2008, he became the F3 world champion and followed that up in 2009 by becoming the GP2 world champion. In 2015, he also became the 24 hour of Le Mans world champion. Those three achievements alone are things that drivers all around the world dream of. But his career in Formula One is kind of curious. In 208 career starts, he's never finished on the podium. So I ask again, is he underrated or overrated? In 2010, he joined the grid at Williams, where he did get his first ever pole position and the first pole for Williams in five years. But he wasn't retained and began to bounce all around the grid. From Force India, to Sauber, back to Force India, to Renault, then became a super sub at Racing Point and Aston Martin, and ultimately returned back to the grid at Haas, where since 2023, he has thoroughly outperformed his teammate, Kevin Magnussen. His closest brush with the podium was in 2018, where he finished a disappointing, but best ever, fifth place. It looked like as if he were definitely going to make the podium that day, but he slid off the track in that rain-soaked race. He's an in-demand driver who has scored a career total of 534 points, but he's never had the opportunity to race for Ferrari, Red Bull, or Mercedes. He's well-liked on the grid, he's appreciated by just about every team that's ever employed him, and he's one of the most consistent drivers year in and year out. This chance with Audi looks to be promising. They're a works team that'll also be designing their own chassis. Everything will be done in-house. And if it works out, it could be an opportunity for him to score and perhaps finally get on the podium. But it's in not making it to the podium that makes people wonder, where do you put Nico Hülkenberg when it comes to rating drivers? Is he overappreciated or is he underappreciated? I'd like to know your thoughts. If you could leave them in the comments, I'll definitely respond to them. I'm curious to know what you think. As a fan of his, I'm appreciative of the fact that Audi's given him this opportunity to help build the team. And I do hope that he makes the podium. Because it's something that's kind of hanging over his head like a dark cloud in terms of his reputation and his contribution to F1. So again, leave your thoughts in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate your time. Have an awesome day.